projections both as a community and as a labor union. One of the things that we look at obviously is the potential growth of cargo volume and how that relates to the labor force itself. We over the last month have registered another 250 members in our local and one of the reasons that we look at registration as a viable option for maintaining port growth is the fact that we cannot train a labor force outside of actual union membership. So those of you who may be familiar with longshore operations in the combined ports, we have what's referred to as a casual hall which provides work for part-time workers on an available basis. Those people are essentially not trained in certain aspects of port operations. They do not operate any of the skilled equipment because as they are not a registered member of the union, they are not eligible to receive that training. So this is something that we look at from the standpoint of future growth and development. What are we going to be able to do about continued registration and continued training in the workforce? That's important to develop a stable workforce, not only for the employer, but also from the standpoint of union membership.